Hello, welcome to another episode of Barlow's TV, your local landscape and garden resource. I'm Stephen Barlow, here today to talk to you about pruning crepe myrtles. So I'm over here with my dad, Steve Barlow, to talk to you about pruning crepe myrtles. What I have here is a single stem crepe myrtle. It's got one trunk on the bottom, and now is the time of year you want to prune your crepe myrtles. It's the middle of April, the weather is just right, the plant is just starting to leaf out, so it hasn't used up a lot of its energy, and it hasn't formed any flower buds yet, and now's the time you want to prune a crepe myrtle. So first and foremost, when you're pruning a tree or shrub, I always recommend a really good pair. These are Felco pruners. They're nice and sharp. They're a bypass pruner. It's always important. Do not cheap out on your pruners. I can't stress it enough. Super important. So I'm going to use it over to my dad, and we're going to start pruning. So crepe myrtles, this is what they do in the wintertime. They form these flower buds after the seeds form. I like to leave these on all winter long. It's better for the tree than to prune it in the fall because you get winter dieback and you could kill the tree. So now's when you want to prune it. But these seed pods, they've popped open. The birds have eaten the seeds all winter, so you've given the birds some food source, and now we're ready to take those off. So my dad's going to start by pruning the back. Now, crepe myrtles grow anywhere from 18 to 24, 36 inches a year. So they put on a ton of growth each year, so you can really cut them back. So what he's going to start doing is pruning them way back, and this is all growth that was on last year. What you'd want to do when you prune any tree or shrub is you want to remove overgrown wood, dead or diseased wood, and crossing branches. So he's going through and he's pruning them all back and tipping them back. And he's also, Dad, if you want me to get this one right here, this is a new one that was grown last year. We're just gonna go through and cut that off because we don't want that new shoot there. Now I wanna show you guys something over here on this crate. We had some winter damage. All the way up here, this branch right here was damaged by some snow. So it's a broken branch and it's gonna die. So we're gonna get up in there. If you cut that off, I can show our viewers what we have here. So just cut that right off. So if you look here, this branch had cracked right there. So you wanna make sure you always prune these branches off. Even though this leafed out already, it's still not gonna make it through the year and it's gonna be a weak branch. So we're gonna to continue to prune this branch. A couple minutes, we'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so now we're back. We're almost done pruning. You can see he pruned out all those crossing branches in here. He really opened up the inside. He took a lot of the tips out. And look at the size pile of stuff we have here. We have a lot of we have a lot of clippings, which is okay, because remember I said a crepe myrtle grows 24 inches a year. So pruning a tree is not an exact science. It takes some time, but you're not going to kill the tree. Crepe myrtles are very hardy once they've leafed out. So I hope you learned something today. If you have any other questions, come in and see us. Be, sh be sure to share this video with your friends and check out our Facebook page and our website for more videos. Thanks and have a great day.